Torek entertainer. That's how 19-year-old Mohammed Torek Mohammed's family described him. He died in this tragic incident last week when a minibus taxi charged through this crowd during violent clashes between Mitchell's Plain and Sitalo residents. Hearing the knock on the, on the footage, why did the driver not stop? Any driver, if you hear a knock, you would stop. Why did he still carry on driving and not stop? That is just what we want to know. We don't know if the driver is still alive, but as we, like we told you, we heard that they say they shot the driver, but we really don't know. Muhammad's parents were too distraught to speak on camera. One of their concerns is the lack of support from authorities and police. Nobody has given us a visit. Nobody in political at all. Not even the community, as you call it, that um, the, the ward councillor hasn't even come forward to any of the family relatives or should say his parents. Um, all I want to say out there to any political people or anybody that is in the higher power is please let this protesting stop with violence. Please let us try and resolve this issue that is currently happening. A lot of innocent children and innocent people. Western Cape Premier Helen Ziller and other provincial and city officials spoke to residents during the week. The protest began in the Sitalo informal settlement outside Mitchell's Plain. Residents were demanding the city provide water and electricity services. Much of the work in these crisis situations, especially by politicians, is not done on the ground. It is done behind the scenes. And often arriving, let's say, when there's a huge crowd here, simply serves to inflame the situation. Human Settlements MEC Bonginko Simatikizela met community leaders twice. The provincial ANC also met with leaders. But all the political parties received a backlash for trying to score political points instead of dealing with the crisis. City officials claim they have a plan and have bought a piece of land to relocate residents to. Any relocation for the Kualo uh, formal settlement residents has to accommodate all of the surrounding community. And so in any relocation plan, we will also have to make provision for residents from Mitchell's Plain, as well as other informal settlements that have also been waiting uh, far longer than the resident, residents of Sitkalo. The young man's body was apparently dragged from that set of robots all the way down the road. His family members are planning a march to honor his life. Atim Tongana, Cape Town.